કાર્તિક હોય પેલું ચાલુ કરી દે ને આપણે બ્રોડકાસ્ટ સ્ટાર્ટિંગ વિથ ધીસ વેબિનાર Uh, I request uh, every panelist to please uh, mute their uh, audio. Friends, I warmly welcome all of you, all the panelists, all the participants and all the dignitary experts in this unique webinar on practical approach for faceless assessment and appeal. Friends, I, uh, I feel happy to announce that six professional associations have joined hands to organize this webinar which consists of all gujarat federation of tax consultants income tax bar association amdavad the southern gujarat income tax bar association chartered accountant association surat the navsari income tax practitioners association and society society for tax analysis and research friends face less it means that there is no value of face anymore now we will definitely go for the value of your knowledge submissions and communication skill so friends it is a very historical reform from the central government and from the vision of honorable prime minister that they want total transparent taxation system faceless uh, scrutinies and appeals so this is a historical reform so now friends for for this reform we need to understand how to uh, approach it how to use this practical approach to tackle this faceless assessments and faceless appeal, uh, appeals and for that we have none other than our own shri aniket bhai talati who is a mouthpiece of our tax professionals of gujarat in central aniket bhai we definitely value your uh, time uh, time given to us you, uh, you are a so busy person still you have uh, given a time to organize this webinar and you will definitely guide us uh, and we are proud that you are in central for uh, for the betterment of all gujarat tax tax professionals so welcome aniket bhai with these words i invite shri bharat bhai l set president of all gujarat federation of tax consultants to give his brief speech bharat bhai sir tumhe mute chho hello now i am audible hello ji 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 okay ગુડ ઇવનિંગ ફ્રેન્ડ્સ ઇન્કમ ટેક્સ બાર એસોસિએશનના પ્રેસિડેન્ટ શ્રી આશુતોષભાઈ ઠક્કર સધન ગુજરાત ઇન્કમ ટેક્સ બાર એસોસિએશનના પ્રેસિડેન્ટ શ્રી અનિલભાઈ શાહ સધન ગુજરાત કોમર્શિયલ ટેક્સ બાર એસોસિએશનના પ્રેસિડેન્ટ શ્રી પ્રશાંતભાઈ શાહ સીએ એસોસિએશન સુરતના પ્રેસિડેન્ટ શ્રી રશેષભાઈ શાહ અને નવસારી ઇન્કમ ટેક્સ પ્રેક્ટિસનર એસોસિએશનના માનદ મંત્રી ભદ્રેશભાઈ શાહ society for tax analysis and research na uh, chairman dr avinash poda uh, mara federation na sathi mitro secretary shri vishwesh shah ane webinar committee chairman shri kartike uh, bhai ane south zone gujarat na vice president kulin bhai pathak bhag lenar sarve participant mitro surat sathe no a pratham webinar thai rahyo chhe સુરત સાથેની મારી મેમરી ખૂબ સુંદર છે બે હજાર બાર તેરમાં ઓલ ગુજરાત ફેડરેશને 
જયારે ધર્મેશભાઈ તમાકુવાલા પ્રેસિડેન્ટ હતા સાઉથ ગુજરાત ઇન્કમ ટેક્સ સેમિનાર માં મને સ્પીકર તરીકે આવવાની સેવા આપવાનો તક મળે અને એ વખતે ઘણા બધા મિત્રો ની સાથે મુલાકાત છે આજની તારીખે પણ એટલી જ તાજી છે અને આ કોવિડ નાઇન્ટીન ની પરિસ્થિતિ થાય અને આપણે નોર્મલ કન્ડિશનમાં આવીએ પછી સુરત ખાતે એક સેમિનાર કરવાની ઈચ્છા છે અને હું માનું છું કે આપણે એ ઈચ્છા પૂરી કરી શકશું આપણે ઈચ્છે કે ઠાકોરજી બધા સારાવાના કરે પેલ ફેડરેશન ની વાત કરીએ મિત્રો તો આ વર્ષે ફેડરેશન ના બે મુદ્દા અગત્યના આપણે ધ્યાન પર લીધા છે એમાં પહેલો છે મેમ્બરશીપ ડ્રાઈવ મેમ્બરશીપ ગ્રોથ માં આપણે મિત્રો એટલે આ વખતે લીધું છે કે જયારે જીએસટી નહોતો અને લોકલ ટેક્સ અને વેટ હતા ત્યારે ફેડરેશન ની કાર્ય જે વાહી હતી એ ફક્ત ડાયરેક્ટ ટેક્સ પૂર હતી જીએસટી આવ્યા પછી ઇન્ડેક્ટ ટેક્સીસ પણ એમાં સમાવેશ થયો છે એટલે જેટલા જીએસટી બાર એસોસિએશન આ ફેડરેશન ના ઇન્સ્ટિટ્યુશન નંબર ની એમને આ ફેડરેશન માં જોડાવા માટે હું આમંત્રણ છું અત્યારે આપણે ચોત્રીસ ઇન્સ્ટિટ્યુશનલ મેમ્બર છે એમાં આ વર્ષ બે નવા ઇન્સ્ટિટ્યુશનલ પર ઉમેરાયા રાજકોટ ટેક્સ બાર જીએસટી બાર એસોસિએશન અને બોટાદ ટેક્સ બાર એસોસિએશન ચૌદસો થી વધારે આપણા ઇન્ડિવિજ્યુઅલ મેમ્બર છે એમને પણ એમાં પણ આપણે વધારો કરીએ અને ફેડરેશન હાથ મજબૂત કરીએ મિત્રો જીએસટી માટેની આપણે પ્રથમ વાર જીએસટી ઇન્ડિરેક્ટ ટેક્સ કમિટી પણ બનાવી છે અને તમામ ઓફિસિયલ એરિયાના જેટલા આપણા એસોસિએશન તમામના તમામ પ્રમુખોને કમિટીમાં ખાસ મંત્રી સભ્ય તરીકે આમંત્રિત કર્યા છે એ કરીને વધુ વધુ લોકો ફેડરે સાથે જોડાય કારણ કે ફેશન ની સ્થાપના મોફુસીલ ના મેમ ને વધારે વધારે વર્ધક કાર્યક્રમો આપતા એના માટેની હતી મોફુસીલ નું વધારે ઇન્વોલ્વમેન્ટ ફેડરેન માં રહે એટલા માટે આપણે આ કાર્યક્રમો કરીએ છીએ બીજો જે કાર્યક્રમ આપણે કર્યો છે એ પણ મોફીલ ને ધ્યાનમાં રાખીને છે કે મોટા ભાગના અમદાવાદ ના ઓફિસર્સ એ મોફુસીલ ના લોકોની સાથે વન ટુ વન વાત કરી શકતા નથી હોત તો એક ફેડરેશન દ્વારા નો કાર્યક્રમ પણ શરૂ કર્યો છે જે ફેડરેશન આધારે કાર્યક્રમ ની અંદર આપણે જે તે એસોસિએશન ના તમામ મિત્રો છે ઝૂથી મળીશું એકબીજા સાથે વાતચીત કરીશું એમના સેશન લેશું ફેડરેશન કયા કાર્ય કરવા જોઈએ કયા સબ્જેક્ટ પર વેબિન કરવા જોઈએ એ પણ આપણે એમની પ્રતિ જાણીશું અને એમના જે કઈ લોકલ પ્રશ્નો હોય એ લોકલ પ્રશ્નો વિશે પણ આપણે જાણકારી મેળવીશું આનો પ્રથમ કાર્યક્રમ ભાવનગરના ત્રણ એસોસિએશન ઇન્કમ ટેક્સ બાર ટેક્સ બાર અને સીએસઓ સાથે ઓગસ્ટ મહિનામાં કર્યો ખૂબ જ સરસ રહ્યો અને સારા એવા સજેશન મળ્યા આવો જ કાર્યક્રમ આપણે મહિનામાં સુરત અથવા ગોધરા પરવા જઈ રહ્યા છીએ એટલે એ કાર્યક્રમ પણ આપણે આ વખત કાર્યવાહી ચાલુ રાખવી હું આશા રાખું આજના વિષય ને બધાની વાત કરીએ તો અનિકેતભાઈ વિષય કેવું અનિકેતભાઈ ને સાંભળવા માટે અમે ભાવનગર થી ત્રણ કિલોમીટર દૂર મહેસા મિત્રો ને લઈને આવેલા બકુલ મારી એજ ના જે લોકો છે એટલે કે મેં ઓગણીસો એસી માં પ્રેક્ટિસ કર્યું એમને ખબર હશે કે શુરુઆતમાં એટલે કે ઓગણીસો પંચ્યાસી સુધી સો માંથી પચાસ ટકા એટલે કેસો સ્ક્રુટિની માં આવતો આપણો સમય એ વખત અઠવાડિયામાં ત્રણ દિવસ સવારના અગિયાર સાંજના છ વાગ્યા ઇન્કમ ટેક્સ ઓફિસમાં જતો હતો ઇન્કમ ટેક્સ ની ઓફિસમાં તૂટેલી ખુશ તૂટેલી બેન્ચ સોફા પર આપણે બે ને કરદાતા અને મહેતાજી અને ઓછા ચાર પાંચ પોટલા ભરીને ચોપડ ને જતા હતા અગિયાર થી છ સુધી વેઇટિંગ કર્યા પછી કલાક બે કલાક ઓફિસર નો આપણો આ એસોસિએશન ટેસ્ટમેન્ટ નો ટાઈમ મળે કલાક બે કલાક ના ટાઈમ બાકીના ચાર કલાક આપણે એમાં પસાર થતા એ સમય આખો જોતો હવે એમાંથી આપણે આગળ વધી અને ઈ ફેસલેસ ઈ એસેસમેન્ટ તરફ ગયા પણ એસેસમેન્ટ ફ્યુઝ હતું કારણ કે આપણને ખબર હતી કે ઓફિસર કોણ અને મોટા ભાગે એવું હતું કે તમે ઓનલાઈન જે કઈ માહિતી આપી બધી જ માહિતી ફરી વખત તમારે એને હાર્ડ કોપી પૂરી પાડવી કારણ કે સિસ્ટમ એવી હતી કે વખત તમે અપલોડ કરેલી 
જે કઈ માહિતી એમને દેખા નથી તો એ વેબલ નથી હવે આપણે જઈ રહ્યા છીએ ફેસલે તરફ ત્યારે એના ફાયદાઓ પણ છે એના ગેરફાયદાઓ પણ છે કારણ કે મશીન કેન નોટ રિપ્લેસ હ્યુમન હવે જોઈએ આપણે ફેસલેસ તરફ જઈ ત્યારે આપણને ખબર છે કે એ ફેસલેસ કેટલું આપણને ઉપયોગી નીવડે ફેસલેસની સ્કીમ આવે આપણે ફેડરેશને તરત જ એમાં જે કઈ વધારા વધારા કરવા જેવા સજેશનો મોકલેલા હતા ફેસલેસ વિશે હું એવું કહીશ કે જે લોકો પ્રમાણિક કરદાતા છે અને લોકો નીતિમતાથી પ્રેક્ટિસ છે એવા પ્રેક્ટિશનરો છે એમના માટે સારા દિવસ આવશે અને જે લાયઝનથી જ કરતા હતા અને જે પ્રમાણિક કરદાતા નો એમના સારા દિવસો બધા પૂરા થશે તો ફેસલેસ એસેસમેન્ટ આવા આપણે લેક્ચરો વારંવાર કરવા પડે કારણ કે આમાં ઘણા બધા ફેરફારો આવશે જેમ જેમ આપણે આગળ જતા જ શરૂઆતમાં ટીચિંગ પ્રોબ્લમ આવશે અને સરકાર પણ જેમ સમજતી થશે કે ભાઈ એમાં આ જગ્યાએ ભૂલ છે ત્યારે એમાં પણ વધારા કરશે તો આ એક આપણી સારી શરૂ છે ફેસલેસ એસેસ માટે ને એના માટે આપણને બહુ સરસ એવા અનિકેતભાઈ મળ્યા છે આ વિષયમાં અનિકેતભાઈ વધારે આપણને સારી રીતે સમજાવશે હું આપ સૌનું હાર્દિક સ્વાગત કરું છું આભાર અવિનાશ ફોદાર ફ્રોમ સ્ટાર Secretary of Navsari Tax as Practitioner Association, Badresh Bhai Soni, VP Sri Kulit Pathak, Secretary Sri Dipesh Shakwala, Sri Katike Abisha, and my friends. I will start my welcome speech by Saraswati Vandana. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu, Vidya Rupena Sanstita, Namastasyai, 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 Namo Namaha. With the active participation of seven associations, we are able to organize this unique seminar on the subject of faceless scrutiny practical aspects of faceless scrutiny and appeal first of all i heartily welcome our learned young energetic speaker sri aniket bhai talati for sparing his valuable time and imparting knowledge to us friends our groups uh, this group seven groups as the pioneer in the field of uh, organizing webinar in india and we have organized the maximum number that is the highest number of webinars in, across the country we are proud of that please uh, give us the implicit uh, give us with this clamp uh, of taliyana gargadat thi amne badhane badhao tame i welcome our president sri of agft sri sri bharat bhai seth Asutosh Thakkar, President, Sri Income Tax Bar Association, the eldest association in Gujarat, Rashesh Shah, President of CA Association, Prashant Shah, Commercial President, Tax Bar Association, Avinash Podar from STAR, Badresh Soni from Navsari Tax Practitioner Association, Ulin Bhai Pathak, BP, AGFTC, and Secretary Sri Dipesh Sakwala and my committee members. I heartily welcome all of you and you will cherish the memories of this seminar for years to come the subject chosen by the learned speaker sri aniket bhai talati is very much important in the current scenario as we will give bye bye to income tax office and bye bye to corruption with this word i welcome all of you and enjoy the webinar thank you thank you anil bhai now i invite advocate kulin bhai si patha vice president of sadan zone of agftc to give introduction of our learned speaker c aniket talati thank you kartik gains good evening this task of introducing our speaker is a great privilege i know this one is difficult for the thought that he is a man of virtue and simplicity i feel elated to introduce him to everyone this evening 
a man of refined thought process quick understanding and sharp vision c a anikes sunil talaki is a central council member of the institute of chartered accountants of india for the term 2019 to 2022 having served the profession for about a decade he had been elected to the ahmedabad branch for the terms 2010 2013 and 2013 to 2016 he was elected to the western india regional council of institute of chartered accountants for the term 2016 to 19 he has served as the youngest ever chairman of ahmedabad branch for the year 2014 15 and as a secretary western india regional council for the year 2017-18 respected for his strong organizational skills and deep insight in the affairs of profession c aniket talaki has contributed to the cause of profession from various professional perspective in his past roles he heads the consulting vertical of his firm talaki and talaki llp chartered accountants one of the largest firms of gujarat He has led an engagement team over 20 chartered accountants to New York every year to work on top real estate development of USA. Being a master of commerce and article ship with uh, Lovelock and Lewis network firm of PwC, Aniket has developed a unique perspective to look into the matter. He has led the cause of profession through various committees of the branch of regional council. He is also chairman of Financial Reporting Review Board and convener of Digital Reengineering and Learning Directorate. He is also serving on Board of Studies, Digital Accounting and Assurance Board, Accounting Standards Board, Auditing Assurance Standards Board, and Direct Taxes Committee, among others. He is also Executive Committee member of Gujarat Chamber of Commerce and Industry. With a reason. to patiently and clearly responding to the issue of image and identity of the accountancy profession in the country and abroad c aniket talaki has a very keen eye and understanding of the matter with a deep insight for the affairs of our profession he has also kept the profession on priority a man of grasping understanding of the matters and respected for his down to earth approach to the issues that and among the his professional colleagues c aniket talaki as a surpassing ability to deal with a variety of difficult situations having an exceptional ability to bring out a range of alternative solutions on the table at in, in any situation he has to his credit success to closer of many task force and time bound non standing groups and teams with straight forward approach to the profession he has always been concerned about the expectations of his professional colleagues and their aspirations profusely interested in the brand indian ca and icai in india and abroad he has always loved to act as a bridge between the stakeholders and the institute being thoroughly conversant with the professional concerns and demands of his times aniket has authored has authored relevant books including treatises on rera published by ca association ahmedabad an academic by temperament aniket has published numerous articles in newspapers magazines and professions newsletters and delivers lectures in about 150 webinars and conferences he also serves on the board on the governing council and executive committee of the hl college of commerce and now my friends ladies and gentlemen i feel very proud to present to you through this webinar a young dynamic and uh, embodiment of birakal sri aniket talaki or thank you thank you uh, kulin bhai uh, now only one second friends uh, all all those uh, tax professional who have joined please co uh, call your uh, tax professional friends to join this webinar as it is it will be a very important webinar now uh, i request c uh, c aniket talati sir to please enlighten us uh, regarding the future taxation system of uh, india aniket bhai i request all the panelists to please switch off their videos for the better uh, clarity thank you thank you so much uh, kartike bhai and first of all thank you to kulin bhai for such a wonderful introduction uh, i don't think sir i am worthy of all those wonderful words that you have given but i am truly grateful to you and indeed to agftc uh, to it bar association ahmedabad to the south gujarat income tax bar association uh, south gujarat commercial tax bar association caas which is doing very good work in uh, surat again chartered account society which has been newly established the navsari income tax practitioners association 
and the Society for Tax Analysis and Research by uh, Avinash Ji. I'm grateful and thankful to all the seniors who are present here, Anil Bhai, Ashutosh Bhai, Badresh Bhai, Bharat Bhai, my dear friends Vishwesh Ji, uh, Ashish Ji, and of course uh, Karthike Ji, uh, Rupesh Bhai and Kulin Bhai, all of you, thank you very much for inviting me. In fact, uh, lockdown, I had the opportunity of taking this seminar on MSME for the first time, where some of these associations were also part and South Gujarat Chamber of Commerce Jodhya Me Karayakram Karayakram And let me share with you, that was such a great experience for me also to discuss issues which were pertaining, especially after the lockdown in MSME. And in fact, the majority of the issues that we deliberated on that day, uh, we ended up representing it to the government through different forums, uh, through the institute, through GCCI, through various other forums, and majority of the issues got resolved. So I'm hopeful and confident that even today, when we are embarking on this topic of practical approach to faceless assessment in the fields, a very important title. Mane faceless assessment suche, any prakriya kairi ka thase, ek eva mat nathi bola ho, kada chapter sawe, ana pehla ghana lecture ho samble aase, jema faceless assessment mathe, we would have all gone through the documents, we would have seen what is going to happen. But yes, uh, the practical approach as a tax practitioner, I may be an advocate or a chartered accountant. What is it that I'm supposed to do now in the medium term and long term to ensure that practice income tax And therefore, we as tax professionals, I want to say it at the beginning with full confidence that the mode of our communication may change. The methods may change. But the principle, even with practical approach that we are discussing for faceless, will remain absolutely the same. And age clarity, sometimes we don't appreciate how easily we are able to dissect certain important matters. bacterial infection, this is going to be the problem. Similarly, we have the skills and therefore sometimes we underestimate our own knowledge saying I think this process of entire faceless, not just for us, but even for our clients is going to make them appreciate but there is in fact a huge process which is involved. And in our process, we have any procedure follow our assessment we have to order Client and more importantly, a large, much larger satisfaction will be derived. So, with that words, I would like to take you through my presentation. I hope uh, my screen is going to be visible to all of you. Kartika, uh, screen par, I hope. The PPT is visible to all of you. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So, what I have tried to do um, in this session that we are going to take over on the practical approach for faceless assessment, I will try and discuss, yes, the nuts and bolts to a certain extent, how faceless has been introduced, what is going to be the procedure. But more importantly, we'll also focus on the practical approach. Why was it introduced? What am I supposed to do? to make sure that in this changed era, my practice doesn't suffer. I still have the same amount of work or probably can do even more amount of work. How geography is not going to be the key, but like very truly mentioned by my earlier speakers, my knowledge will transcend all geographical boundaries and I will be able to ensure that Assessment pehla jo mara pota na city ma kara hoto to, abe bhale akha Hindustan ma kase pan thay, I will be able to ensure that whatever is right and the best for my client will be done. In the course of the discussion, I will also probably share with you some experiences uh, you would have heard in the introduction Kulin Bhai gave you. I have extensive experience of working in the US. Ya audit kada sadas varas thaya ki physical thayuj na di. Apne aji pan audit karwa jaiye je mara chartered accountant mitro attend karta hai. के ऑडिट की प्रोसीजर करता हुई है तो फाइल मंगाइए वाउचर जो ये 
this has been absolutely extinguished if i can use the word in foreign countries because badhu jo online thai che client na books cloud par che ina invoices cloud par che akhi process cloud par hati so what that entails ane je bija countries kari sake che to why not us and very important here to add that in fact india to e filing ma online java ma a badha countries thi ghani agal che apne e filing of income tax return us and uk karta pehla laya so i don't think there is any challenge on that perspective i will share my experiences there also what i have done at the institute uh, it was mentioned that i am the central council member and before i went to the council maro ek bahut important mission hato je mai badha loko ne council ma jata pehla kito to ke koi pan vyakti ne institute jode koi pan correspondence karvano hoy मेंबरशिप मार्ट अप्लाय करवानो होय तो बद्दास कागज स्कैन करीने मोकलवा पडता था स्कैन नी फिजिकल जेरोस केने मोकलवा पडता था आणि पछि 30 दिवसे मेंबरशिप नंबर आवे के 60 दिवसे लोकनो मेंबरशिप नंबर आवे जे इया सीएस जे मने खबर असे के जेमने आर्टिकल नोधिया असे मने खबर असे ए 30 ती 40 दिवस पछि नो कागज आवे के हां आणि नोंद लेवाई दे छे आम्ही इंस्टिट्यूट मा एसएसपी लाया आई हैड द प्रिविलेज ऑफ पायलटिंग दिस प्रोजेक्ट एट द इंस्टिट्यूट लेवल आणि आजे जे मेंबरशिप 60 दिवस मा होती थी रिजनल ब्रांच क्या तो रिजनल रिक्वेस्ट करवा एक वस्तु याद रखिए बदा केसो हाजी हजूरी रिक्वेस्ट करने जरूर नहीं होती मैं खबर थोड़ा तकलीफ हो बट फॉर ऑल केसेस इट हेड बिकम इन अवर ब्लड टू गो देर एंड प्लीड आई डोंट थिंक फॉर मेरिटोरियस केसेस एटलीस्ट द बिगेस्ट एडवांटेज इज गोइंग टू बी देट इफ द फाइलिंग इज करेक्ट अपने जो फाइलिंग में चौकसाई राखी हे ऑडिट रिपोर्ट बराबर हे रेशियो विल बी राइट एंड मोर इम्पोर्टंटली बदाज डिस्कलोजर थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री रिव्यू थी जो हे तो डेफिनेटली द प्रोसेस इज गोइंग टू बी एक्सट्रीमली सीम्पल and what are my learnings of this process have been i will try and share with you so friends the agenda that i would like to take you through and a thodu colorful rakhu je kemke faceless va loko ne eu lage ke na yaar su thase you know there are fears associated also ke hu nana gam thi chu ke hu moti city ma pan chu pan mari practice bahut nani che to aa kaam mari paase rahse ke nahi thai i think all those fears we will have to try and forget i am sure end of the day we all are professionals are skilled persons and therefore there is nothing that has to be feared what we will discuss today is going to be in 10 parts we will start with the journey towards digitization of the income tax department where they started and where we are right now the entire changing landscape of how we have moved from manual to faceless the data exchanges one of the most critical aspects of what enabled or what gave confidence to the revenue કે હા આખો ને આખો અસેસમેન્ટ નું પ્રોસેસ આપણે ઓનલાઈન લઈ જઈ લઈ જઈ શકીશું અને એ સક્સેસફુલ થશે અને એના માટે જે મેઇન કમ્પોનન્ટ જોઈતા હતા ધે હેવ બીન ટેકન થ્રુ ધીસ ડેટા એક્સચેન્જ કયા કયા અસેસમેન્ટ ના સેન્ટર્સ છે અક્રોસ ઇન્ડિયા ધ સ્કીમ લાઈક આઈ સેડ હું નટ્સ એન્ડ બોલ્ટ્સ કરી ડિસ્કસ પણ એમાં આપણે બહુ ફોકસ નહીં કરીએ મેજરલી એમાંથી ઉભા થતા પ્રશ્નો આ કોણ કરશે આની સત્તા કોની પાસે રહેશે મારે આમાં શું કરવાનું રહેશે ધેટ વી વિલ ડિસ્કસ જે ઈ એસેસમેન્ટ સ્કીમ હતી સાહેબે પહેલા કીધું એમ કે આપણે ઓનલાઈન આપતા હતા અને પછી જઈને ફિઝિકલ પણ પાછું સબમિટ કરતા હતા તો એ ઈ એસેસમેન્ટ અને અત્યારના ફેસલેસ અસેસમેન્ટમાં શું ડિફરન્સ છે મોસ્ટ ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ કી ટેક અવેઝ મારી સમજથી એન્ડ આઈ હેવ ટ્રાઈ ટુ કસ્ટમાઇઝ ધીસ ફોર ધી ઓડિયન્સ કે સાઉથ ગુજરાતમાં કે પ્રેક્ટિસ કરતા એડવોકેટો કે કદાચ આખા ગુજરાતમાં પ્રેક્ટિસ કરતા એડવોકેટ કે ચાર્ટર્ડ એકાઉન્ટન્ટ મિત્રો આપણે આ પ્રોસેસ માટે શું તૈયારી કરવાની છે વોટ ઇઝ ગોઈંગ ટુ ઇન્વોલ્વ ઇન ટર્મ્સ ઓફ માય ઓન પર્સનલ ડેવલપમેન્ટ મારે કઈ એફર્ટ્સ મૂકવી પડશે આમાં આગળ જવા માટે અને એક જ એક્ઝામ્પલ આપીશ જે તમે બધા અગ્રી કરશો કે ઇન્ડિયા ઇન ધ પાસ્ટ વોઝ ઓલવેઝ નોન એઝ ધ કન્ટ્રી ઓફ સ્નેક ચાર્મર્સ તમે યુએસ જાઓ કે યુકે જાઓ એટલે તમને શરૂઆતમાં એવું જ કે આ તો સ્નેક ચાર્મર્સ ની જગ્યા છે પીપુર વગાડો સાપ લડ અને ગામડાને બધા રહેતા હોય દેટ ઇઝ ધ જનરલ પરસેપ્શન ઓફ ઇન્ડિયા But South India ma, loko e, jare technology e, nobody imagined that India will be the leader in IT. But our South of the country, the South Indians, especially in, in Bangalore and Chennai, took up this task. And today, in all technology companies of the world, 
the leaders, the CEOs are of Indian origin. So we have led from the front when it deals with IT. And that's double IT. Information technology and income tax. And the gem South India is our lead. I think South Gujarat is our lead. We can make sure that Gujarat definitely can make sure that if we approach this with the right spirit, if we have the right mindset and the right mindset, we can make so definitely face this assessment is going to be a huge professional opportunity. The appeal process and the virtual hearings we will discuss. And finally, the taxpayers charter, which was also introduced along with this face this assessment has been included. And the scope of SFT, which has been expanded, we will be discussing. So these are the 10 agenda items. Let's first look at the income tax journey towards digitization. And sometimes before moving forward, we have to look back. To understand आपने यह केवल इतने पहुंचे हैं। कंप्यूटर ने जनरेशन नहीं बात करी है, तो बदला नहीं याद होते, कदा जैसे सीनियर जिम्मेदार बदला नहीं याद होते, पर डेटा आपने एक थी बिजार ने आपको तो उन तो फ्लॉपी ड्राइव होती थी, पर जी आपने फ्लॉपी थी गया सीडी पर। आज नहीं तारीख में तमिल लोगों जितना नवा लैपटॉप that is a question that we have to ask. And more importantly, the process of technology when everything started moving online, overnight, but were we looking at it? That the chapter of the face test assessment was very similar to demonetization when demonetization announced. अपने बदहाने घनी बार शौक लगे हो कि आखिर में डिमोनेटाइजेशन एकदम थी अनाउंस थी ये एकदम थी ना तो सरकार ने बहुत क्लियर थॉट प्रोसेस आती इट स्टार्टेड विद जनधन अकाउंट जो डिमोनेटाइजेशन करी हो तो अंदर लोगों ना बैंक अकाउंट ना हो तो बहुत मोटो हो गया था वो पर ना ना थे वो बिकॉज़ and then finally demonetization came. I think if you look at how the prime minister, how this government has been functioning, we only realize things when they are announced. But there is a clear cut trajectory and plan to everything that has happened. And that is how I would like to look at even the journey of income tax, which is moved towards digitization. So the fellow step was the accounts. The accounts have gone online and you will all acknowledge that Mehta Ji Nivad Kari Sahib Sharuatma ये चौपड़ा पहला फिजिकल लगता था अने मारी पन टीजी पेड़ी नहीं फॉर्म जे मारा ग्रैंडफादर हूँ ने मैं इतने मैं मारी ऑफिस में जन्म थे और त्याग थी आखिरी प्रोसेस चला पांचवी वर्ष में तो मैं बहुत ही जो ही है मूविंग फ्रॉम द फिजिकल टू द डिजिटल द अकाउंट्स वर द फर्स्ट टू माइग्रेट जे मेता and the first starting by the department was in AY67 when income tax returns filing went online in AY67. That was the first step that India took towards digitization. manual return computation manually file income tax na chalan, everything used to be online. We moved forward from 67 to now thus, and the magic of 26 AS, e-filing of TDS and TCS returns came in. And no longer were we filing our tax returns along with those bunches of tax acknowledgements of the TDS certificates. Ek chhavi CS, jem ke bank statement aave, anu to kada chhavi CS ne bank statement thi vadare manu jo. Bank statement ma jem tamari entry dekha hai. Age kitte jo chhavi CS ma tamari TDS party jama ape lo jo. To tax to income tax ke TDS to chala nahi hoye toh hi chal se. That was the first step of enabling you to know whether what you are claiming to have paid is actually reflected in our system. On a technology perspective, it is a huge change. We have many times that we have to do tax payment online. So, we have to update that we have to do. But for it to reflect, for the accounts to reconcile and for you to view, there is a huge technology process which goes in the back end. Which we have to, I mean, we are not discussing at this moment. But yes, that was the first step of the department opening its doors and saying, tomorrow our record is going to be done. And then we have to file our returns. Then came AY 13-14. When the historical step was taken of online filing of the 3CB and the tax audit report, 3CB, 
थ्री सी डी और थ्री सी ए थ्री सी डी त्यार बदाए फिजिकल रिपोर्ट आप बंद कर दीदा स्टेम्स सीग्नेचर्स द होल फिजिकल प्रिंटिंग ऑफ रिटर्न स्टॉप कि कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एक्सएमएल वोज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन टेक्स लाइफ कि आप लोग टेक्स में प्रेक्टिस् करता था एक्सएमएल शू हो टेक्नोलॉजी शू हो कदाच तेरे खबर पड़ी पड़ी कम रिटर्नो जोड़े जोड़े ऑडिट रिपोर्ट अपलोड ऑनलाइन थो मे एंड फाइनली दी ई एसेसमेंट इन फाइव सीटीज विच स्टार्टेड इन दिवाई फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन एंड वी आर नाउ सीटिंग एट दी फेसलेस असेसमेंट जर्नी सो दिस इज बीन द जर्नी सो फार वेरी प्लान वेरी कैलक्युलेटेड एक्यूरेट एंड आई वुड से वेल थॉट ऑफ इन टर्म्स ऑफ द इम्प्लिमेंटेशन इमीजिएटली रश कर जीएसटी जेम के ओवर नाइट बढ़ू ऑनलाइन ले जाइए इनवाइस ऑनलाइन आ ऑनलाइन पहली जुलाई धड़ाका अनाउंसमेंट थोड़ा दसमी जुलाई थी धड़ाको थी गई बिकॉज नथिंग वोज फंक्शनिंग एंड देन केम थ्री बी टू बी टू ए ऑल द फॉर्म्स विच आर निशियली कॉन्सेप्चुअलाइज इन जीएसटी नन ऑफ देम आर इवन एप्लीकेबल टू डे बदीज रिवाइज फॉर्म्स लावा पड़े बट यर वी मस्ट गिव क्रेडिट टू द गवर्मेंट दैट हेज बीन अ वेरी वेल थॉट ऑफ एक्सरसाइज they have taken us in this technology mode in a very gradual slow and steady process starting from ay67 to 2120 that we are sitting in right now and what happened in this entire journey the biggest change i believe which has happened and which gave the government confidence to move towards faceless assessment was this pandemic or the covid 19 or the corona situation sir je generation ne zindagi ma vicharyu nahi ki hame virtual conference kari su मेरी फाधर जनरेशन के ग्रेन्ड फाधर जनरेशन जो हो विचार नूम वापरी गूगल हेंग आउट अत्य घर में बदा अंताक्ष रमता था दर सांजे के हाउजी रमता था आखी फेमिली गेट टूगेधर ऑनलाइन थी थी एंड देट गीव कॉन्फिडन्स टू द गवर्मेंट लुकिंग एट द डेटा कंजम्पन लुकिंग टू द पेनिट्रेशन ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड मोर इम्पोर्टंटली आवर एक्सेप्टंस ऑफ डिजिटल वे ऑफ डूइंग थिंग्स घर बैठा भी काम थाय स्वीकार and accept kariyo and implement kariyo which gave the government huge confidence to implement this process of faceless assessment so in fact we have contributed towards them accelerating the implementation of faceless assessment and e appeals rather than they imposing this on us and i think a huge role has been played by of course the pandemic situation which increased the entire movement and acceptance of it in our lives how is the the department moved towards digitization this was regarding our office apne online return mc and return online mc 21 no project 26 years online 3cd online apna taraf thi online thayu same department e pan processing online kariyu 14311a was introduced in ay 1718 to enable the cpc based processing of returns we moved to 1819 in which the concept of e assessment was introduced and made mandatory the 143 3a of course apne badha janiye che e assessment was more on paper than in practice because whatever we were submitting online it was in fact a double exercise kem ke apne scan kari ke soft copy ma badhu upload karta tha and e j vastu physical ma kya aapta tha but now with this face to face appeals there is going to be no provision for us to print or duplicate that work मेरी हिसाब तो जो आप ई एसेसमेंट में पहला अपना आईटीबी में अपलोड कर मेहनत करी ए मेरे हिसाब तो क्रिकेट की मैच रमता पहला जो प्रेक्टिस नेट्स में करिए ने ए रीत नेट प्रेक्टिस थी आपने खबर पड़ी कि भाई पचास एमबी की फाइल में बधु मोकलवा कई रीते स्केन थाय मोर इम्पोर्टंटली क्लायट पास थी कई रीते विगत स्केन के सॉफ्ट कॉपी में मंगा कि बीजी बार मेहनत आप करी पड़े एटले नेट प्रेक्टिस् तो आप करी से एंड नाउ वी आर ऑन दी एनविल ऑफ डूइंग दी फेसलेस असेसमेंट and what does that involve very important four pillars i believe of this faceless assessment where the change is happening from manual to faceless and some of this is based on my extensive discussions because of my position in the central council uh, last year at new delhi we had various discussions at cbdt at the board level at various departments in the finance ministry and where i myself was so amazed ke departments are income tax wale टेक्नोलॉजी में आटलू आगे हूँ आईटी में सैवी गणु आई एम चेरमेन ऑफ दी डिजिटल री एंजीनियरिंग एंड लर्निंग डिरेक्टरेट ऑफ आईसीआई प्रोबेबली इन द काउंसिल कंसिडर्ड टू बी वन ऑफ द पर्सन हूज क्विकलेस्ट एंड फास्टेस्ट अडोप्टेड टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर आईसीआई एंड आई माइ सेल्फ आई एम सेंग दिस विथ फूल सीन्सियरिटी आई वोज अमेज जय मैं प्रोजेक्ट इन साइड जुई विच इज रन बाय दी 
revenue, which is run by the department, it gives a 360 degree analysis of the taxpayer. Every pan and every taxpayer has a 360 degree profile. And I came to the face of the face of the face of the Every SSC, every person who has written a return, has written a return for us in March. We have written a return for September. We have an exception to our job. But in July and September, we have written a return for us. तो हो आने आठ लाख वर्ष में आठ लाख काम करें यार आठ लाख टन ओवर आठ लाख प्रॉफिट वगैरह वगैरह बदी वस्तुओं को खबर पड़े जहाँ इस सरकार ने मंथली के मॉडल मॉडल क्वार्टरली इन्हों जीएसटी रिटर्न अपलोड थे हुए हैं इन्हें इन्हों ड्राफ्ट पीएनएल ना सामने आई जाए एंड नाउ विथ ऑल द परचेजेस कि पहली अप्रैल एक सरकार तुमने तुम्हारी बैलेंस शीट में पीएनएल बनाई ना आपी जैसे कि तुम्हारू जीएसटी अने बीजा बद्धा रिटर्न प्रमाण है आठली तुम्हारी टर्नओवर तुम्हारा बैंक स्टेटमेंट प्रमाण है अने तुम्हारा एक्सपेंसेस प्रमाण है तुम्हें जो जीएसटी नहीं क्रेडिट अक्रोल पर ली दीजिए प्रमाण Government is adopting blockchain, where as a double entry of accounting, we will move to a triple entry accounting, where accounts are not just maintained, double entry at least to my purchase. I welcome you. I've just seen you. I will take his example. Uh, welcome, sir. Dinesh uh, Bhai is our uh, president emeritus of IT Bar. Thank you, sir, for joining us. So, MNI sales, it is my purchase. We double entry. Debit, credit, and for two persons also one entry for purchase, one for sales. With triple entry accounting and blockchain, not just my purchase and his sales, there is a concept of public ledger, where in the public ledger, everything is visible to the user. So I can see my old transactions there. And a public ledger to Sarkar Pase Hoy. So Maji Tamne Kidu Peli April, the journey balance sheet banavi, a hundred percent shakya che, and any technology Sarkar Pase to Avi che. Only thing is how the compliance is improved and they are able to more accurately determine our, uh, you know, the entire profitability of the year. So they have their information. What they also have is not just financial information. After that, the demonetization is noticed that you have a client who has a cash deposit accurately pinpoint. Additionally, a client has a client who has said that the bank account is not a demonetization and the notice is that the union bank account is not an audit. So those that was the situation of us as tax consultants, advocates or chartered accountants. But the government, the department knew everything. It is not just this financial information, your banking transactions, your all other information of GST customs. In fact, even non-financial data is not a case. कोई उपन पर्सन जे हाई इलो को इंडिविजुअल रिस्क मा असेस करे लो होए इन्हीं फेसबुक नी प्रोफाइल कई इन्हों इंस्टाग्राम नो अकाउंट कई हो ये साइबे फेसबुक पर जेने जो कोई कंट्री मा टैग करे ना के यस रिलैक्सिंग इन पेरिस इमीडिएटली देर इज़ नो पर्सन सिटिंग हु सेज एंड गोस टू द फोटो एंड चेक्स is a part of this project insight comes and gets sits on their server saying assessing so and so pan number so and so is in paris was in paris for this date then that gets cross verified for the foreign exchange that has been paid by you by the tickets which are going to now be refre reflected in the stf all your foreign travel will come so therefore if we wonder our information kathi average a khali tamaro travel agent absolutely nahi thai travel agent nahi aape aapne ne kidu se ke bhai pen nahi aap to because that is how detailed this project insight is. So that was established by the department. The data exchange. And we will look at those MOUs in a separate slide where the income tax department has done some amazing MOUs with all different departments of the government and free exchange of information is happening. Our request is not that I have to client. In fact, Automatic API technology के बाये CBIC पासे कोई information चे इस CBDT ने automatically आई जैसे 
SEBI MCA पासे कोई इन्फॉर्मेशन छे इट ऑटोमेटिकली लिंक्स टू द सर्वर ऑफ सिबिलिटी एंड इट पुल्स એટલે તમારો કેસ સ્ક્રુટની માં આવ્યો અને પછી હું વિગત કાઢી છે એવું નથી થવાનું તમારો કેસ સ્ક્રુટની માં લેવો કે નહીં લેવો એ આ ડેટા ડિટરમાઇન કરશે કેમ કે ઓલરેડી એના પાસે MCA માંથી ડેટા આવ્યો કે ફલાણા કંપનીના રિલેટેડ પાર્ટી ડિસ્ક્લોઝર માં કી મેનેજરિયલ પર્સોનલ માં મિસ્ટર X ઇઝ મેન્શન એના GST રિટર્ન એને ફાઇલ કર્યો છે એમાં આટલું ટર્ન ઓવર છે પણ સાહેબ ઇન્કમ ટેક્સ નું રિટર્ન જ નથી કે આ તો રિટર્ન ઓફ ઇન્કમ આટલું જ છે that will be the trigger for scrutiny and not the other way around so data exchange what we call as big data analysis of big data through data analysis techniques and applying ai artificial intelligence to select and i am giving you only some examples jena thi apne samjhi sakiye ke kya basis par apne vaachiye che ke ai through selection thase data analysis to thase but what is this data analytics this is applying these bare minimum thresholds comparing it with the gross total income that has been offered by the assessee and then ensuring that if he is ticking 10 boxes he has gone to four foreign travels he has taken hotels exceeding this amount for so many times in a year multiple things but if his returned income is below a certain limit that will be the trigger for them to select for scrutiny so project insight data exchange of course e assessment is now team based approach the individual aos bias કે એને શું નક્કી કરવું અને શરૂઆતમાં આઈ થિંક ભરતભાઈ કીધું એમ કે આપણે જેને મળ્યા એને સમજાયું ને સમજી ગયા એના કરતા હવે આખી ટીમ બેસશે અને મલ્ટીપલ ટીમ્સ આર ગોઈંગ ટુ બી ધેર અને ક્યાં બેસશે આપણને નહીં ખબર પડી સો વેર દેટ નોટિસ ઇઝ કમિંગ ફ્રોમ ગુવાહાટી પટના ભુવનેશ્વર ચેન્નાઈ ઓર બેંગ્લોર દેટ વિલ નેવર બી નોન ટુ અસ સો નો પોઈન્ટ ઓફ નેટવર્કિંગ વિથ અધર્સ અક્રોસ ધ કન્ટ્રી બીકોઝ યુ મે નેવર એન્ડ અપ નોઈંગ વિચ AU is giving us the draft order and which is finalizing it and finally the virtual hearings the supreme court the high court and the itat in fact has moved towards virtual hearing daily they are taking up and technology je rite e loko embrace kari che believe me it is going to be difficult to go back to the old normal and therefore these are the four major pillars which have ensured our movement to faceless assessment if we talk about pan india i have put up a map here to depict what are the centers across india ja a faceless assessment thavanu che selection like i mentioned is only going to be through system using data analytics etle ja baddho data multiple data exchanges thi mca thi cbi ic thi biji badi agencies thi malyo and non financial data pan je aave che ena par data analysis kari artificial intelligence kari ane selection thase territorial jurisdiction has been removed and it is a dynamic jurisdiction the allocation of cases cash to hatu jane computer aided scrutiny selection pehla tatu tu pan kon enu assessment karse that has also been automated and randomized so it will be automated no human intervention at the same time randomly generated so you will not know ke pehlu bombay jaye che tiju biju pune jase tiju amdavad jase ne chautho surat avano che evu nahi that assessment and that allocation is totally randomized the issuance of notice has to be centralized with a din and again a very very important concept document identification number which both civility and then the indirect tax department is also implemented and in fact the finance minister came on television and said ke jo aapko koi bhi notice या डॉक्यूमेंट हमारी दोनों डिपार्टमेंट से मिलते हैं जिसमें डिन नहीं है तो सिंपली टेर इट एंड थ्रो इट इन द डस्टबिन एंड इन फैक्ट वी हैव सीन सम डॉक्यूमेंट्स आल्सो एंड बिलीव मी एज प्रैक्टिशनर्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड टेरिंग एंड थ्रोइंग देम इन द डस्टबिन सो द गवर्नमेंट आल्सो रियलाइजेस दैट यू कैन नॉट गो एंड बैक डेट सर्टेन ऑर्डर्स देयर इज अ ह्यूज रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑन देयर पावर्स आल्सो आपरे यूं मानता होइए कि आपन ने तकलीफ आई छे तो यूं नहीं इवन दे हैव बीन मेड रिस्पांसिबल साहब 15 दिवस पछि नी डेट नो तुम्हें backdating karine din number nahi rai sako and i am proud to state that aaj ek concept che din no eno akha world ma not in india in the entire world the pioneers was the institute of chartered accountants of india and i have the privilege of being on the udin group ame eno naam apyu to udin this is again the name is trademark the entire technology is copyrighted with us at the institute ja koi bhi chartered accountant કોઈ સર્ટિફિકેટ રિપોર્ટ કે બીજો કોઈ બી ડોક્યુમેન્ટ આપે તો એમાં યુડીને આપવો જરૂરી છે 
અને એમાં પણ પંદર દિવસ નો ટાઈમ ફ્રેમ અમે આપ્યો હતો લોટ ઓફ ડિસ્કશન હેપન એન્ડ દેન બી નેરો ડાઉન કે ટેકનોલોજી ના કારણે અર્જન્સીમાં કદાચ જરૂર પડી હોય અને ચાર્ટર્ડ એકાઉન્ટન્ટ સર્ટિફિકેટ આપ્યું હોય તો એને પંદર દિવસ નો સમયગાળો આપીએ કે તારીખ ઓફ રિપોર્ટ થી લઈ પંદર દિવસ સુધી એ યુડિન જનરેટ કરી શકે અને એક્ઝેક્ટ સેમ મિકેનિઝમ હેઝ બીન અડોપ્ટેડ બાય ઓલ સિસ્ટર ઇન્સ્ટિટ્યુટ ઇન્ફેક્ટ બાય ધ ડિરેક્ટ ટેક્સિસ એન્ડ ધ ઇન્ડિરેક્ટ ટેક્સિસ બોર્ડ ઓલ્સો એન્ડ અ મેટર ઓફ ગ્રેટ પ્રાઇડ ફોર અસ ધો વી હેવ ધ કોપીરાઇટ ટ્રેડમાર્ક we always believe as being in partner nation building this has been made available to them and this is going to make sure that nothing of back dating happens in the going uh, is going forward like we mentioned there is no physical interface no requirement to visit income tax office in fact i was only discussing yesterday that some of these offices and with all due respect will effectively become like a bpo or a kpo kya koi jase nahi je employees che je base se i know about the residuary jurisdiction which we will discuss but for a large part of their activities which they are doing as a au there will be no human interaction no person will be walking into those offices and it will effectively uh, though i'm using a crude word become a kpo or a bpo for all operations of the income tax mca ma je loko kaam karta se emne khabar hase ke company incorporation varsho pehla apne roc pase jau pade name approval mate malvu pade badhu karvu pade as soon as this moved in noida there is one single center where all officers sit in one room and as soon as you apply for name application kya thi immediate company incorporation ni process thai che similarly time is not far that maybe a few years from now instead of having such expensive real estate in large cities across the country the department will migrate to such an approach of a common shared service center which will be doing from a single location or two or three locations across india this entire team based assessment and team based review the key of faceless assessment kyunki sarkar ne bhi khabar thi ke jo draft assessment order ane baki faceless karu hoy pan officer amdavad no amdavad ma jase ke surat no surat ma jase kya to kadach surat no mumbai pan hase to loko manage kari lese etle j system evi che ke draft assessment order ek city ma banse review biji city ma thase and finalization is in other city so in fact if it is getting finalized or reviewed in bhubaneswar it gets uh, prepared in bhubaneswar it gets reviewed in delhi and finally it gets received to you through the nac but finalized by probably the mumbai office and therefore you will need connivance at a huge scale to um, even manage anything this all level no coordination that possible nahi objective check a fair and a just order ave and most importantly two third of the manpower of the entire department has now been utilized for face this it a two third loko no to apne je matyare zoom par 90% loko no camera ban che emaj two third of the income tax department will go faceless one third of that will remain for the residuary function of rectification appeal effect collection and recovery so that is going to be how this face this centers in india across india are going to be there if i have to explain this significant data exchange that is the project insight in my own way i would say that it entails basically five important aspects which we would like to discuss and what are these five aspects the first is income wrapped by a business value chain tumhari income tumhara peers ja industry ma che in a comparison ma suche now the department has that data randomized but available to them automated which will enable them to map your income so if you are in textile in surat ane tamaro ek gp ne np x percentage tame batao cho very easily they are now able to map because there are specialized units which are only dealing in this to map what should be the ideal gp and np of this entity they are also correlating this with gst information so if there is any bogus purchases any invoices which they feel કે બ્લોક ક્રેડિટ ની આઈટમ હતી અને તમે એની ક્રેડિટ લીધી છે ઓલ ધોઝ વિલ નાઉ ગેટ રિપોર્ટેડ એન્ડ ધ પ્રોજેક્ટ ઇનસાઇટ ઇઝ લુકિંગ એટ ઇટ સો ધેટ ઇઝ ધ ફર્સ્ટ સ્ટેપ ધ સેકન્ડ ઓફ કોર્સ ઇઝ ડિડ્યુટિંગ ડિડ્યુસિંગ સ્પેન્ડિંગ પેટર્ન્સ તમારી ઇન્કમ સામે તમારો ખર્ચો કેટલો છે રિટર્ન ઇન્કમ છે 6 લાખ રૂપિયાની અને ક્રેડિટ કાર્ડમાં એન્યુઅલી 10 થી 12 લાખના એક્સપેન્ડિચર્સ દેખાય છે વર્ષમાં બે વાર ઇન્ટરનેશનલ વેકેશન છે ધેન ધેટ વિલ ડેફિનેટલી બીકમ અ મેટર ફોર ઇટ ટુ બી સિલેક્ટેડ ફોર સ્ક્રુટની again i know there may be situations that the individual may be traveling the firm may have paid the company may have paid for the expense but again 
please understand if the person is such that he is going on two or three trips it may be for professional or business purposes he will have to have some basic threshold amount of return of income to enable himself to travel in these countries and that is what this deducing of spending patterns that we are talking about the audit trail is going to be available even today it is available of all the high value transactions shipping bills outward remittances turnover details gana loko ne khabar hase us ni citizenship ke bija citizenship mate there are now investment options available that you remit x amount from india and you are getting foreign citizen 1 lakh dollar koi manas remit kartu hoy ane same return of income 15 lakh rupya hoy to if definitely it is going to be a trigger a red flag in the system based on the outward remittance which not only gets reported by the bank पण जे 3 सी ईबी भरी जे 15 सीबी भरी होसे रेमिटेंस वक्त ए 15 सीबी जोडे भी कोरिलेट थसे तुम्हारा बैंक पास दी भी इंफॉर्मेशन आउसे एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस गेट्स कोरिलेटेड एंड द सिलेक्शन हैपेंस ऑफ कोर्स द एडिशनल एंड मच मोर डिस्क्लोजर इज रिक्वायर्ड इन द रिटर्न बिकॉज़ ऑफ द शेड्यूल ऑफ टीडीएस द एसेट लायबिलिटी स्टेटमेंट जीएसटी इन फॉरेन एसेट्स दीस आर ऑल नाउ फॉर्मिंग पार्ट ऑफ योर रिटर्न फॉर दिस एसएससीज एंड देयरफॉर दिस बिकम्स मैप एंड लाइक आई सेड the entire assessment is now risk based redefined parameters audit for those chartered accountant colleagues who are present here you would remember or rather lot of us are even doing that we start with cash bank journal entries then we move up to the trial balance looking at ledger scrutiny and then finalization audit has changed since the last 10 years after introduction of international auditing standards audit is risk based नीचे थी ऊपर नहीं आवानू वाउचर थी बैलेंस शीट पर नहीं आवानू बैलेंस शीट थी तमें वाउचर पर जाओ जरा तमें बैलेंस शीट जो हो चुके पीएनएल जो हो चुके जो क्या अकाउंट में सिग्निफिकेंट इंक्रीज चे टर्नओवर में इंक्रीज चे तो सामे कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स होल्ड में भी इंक्रीज है से दिस आर ऑल कॉमन डिडक्शंस as tax consultants as advocates as chartered accountants nahi rakhiye so definitely it is going to result in these triggers red flags and immediately thereafter very difficult for us to explain at the time of assessment so these are the data exchanged in the project insight what are the mous that the government has done and this is again the benefit of technology main tumne shuruaat apan kidu hai api through information jayte there is no request that is sent and then the reply comes forward automatic exchange is set up etle by default tamaru pen ke aadhar ave everything is aadhar linked that is going to be the single binding factor where all of these other ministries and the places where i have mentioned there is exchange they will automatically exchange this information so what are these exchanges first and foremost what has entered with mca to curb the menace of shell companies bogus share capital high amount of loan entries being given whether there is actual who are the directors now each company's directors are mapped their shareholders are known to them so the directors if he was a pun or a driver or somebody who did not have sufficient assets he does not have anything to report not only is mca letting the department know department policy the information mca pase jaye che and then they are able to identify whether these companies are actual companies kya bogus loko ne director na position pe baitha raha hai and therefore going forward very difficult believe me to have companies where you have only nominee directors ke comfort mate mukya related party ne biju na lage but shareholding uh, in effect is held by your ssc or by your client that is not going to be possible in the future it is going to definitely result in immediate exchange between mca and the department sebi now also for all the penny stock apne badhai joyo tyare notices aayi it was due to this mous that entered was entered by the income tax department with sebi that the information passed over from the exchanges and through the sebi that these are companies which are engaged in penny stock this was the increase uh, exceptional increase over one year two year or three year period and it looks that this is only done for accommodating exempted long term capital gain so the 1038 na bija issues aaya that was all because of the sebi mou that was entered the cbic is going to be one of the largest biggest impact mou lockdown na time ma this mou was entered into ane ana thi su thayu che ke every single item of 
line item that you report on your indirect tax return is now tallied with your direct tax income tax return many of you would have seen over the past days gana lawyer one doctor one ke bija gana loko jemne commission ni income hati ane 10 lakh thi vadhare hati etle service tax vakte keta ta chalse joi leshu 12 lakh che na e badha jase asi ne aa varshe service tax je pan madhi note thai che that is how the exchange of information is happening similar mous are signed with msme to ensure that no misuse is happening whether you when you are categorizing yourself as msme whether you are actually msme loko turnover chopde ek kare msme ma bijo kare bank ma tijo kare ane return ma chotho padhave very common practice if you look at the banking also today inventory as reported in your bank state on your balance sheet inventory submitted with the bank and then the inventory which is valued for other purposes there were three different numbers various judgments also available of course many of them favoring the ssc but now with these mous it is immediately going to trigger kyunki pehla khabar rare cases ma padti thi now it is going to be a question asked to your clients why is the turnover as per gst this much and as per the return of income this much why is uh, a certain aspect of detail reported in the indirect taxes but not available in the direct tax or the tax return so one of the very important mous banks mutual fund and aadhar is giving live information to the department and now even with overseas countries there is a tax information exchange which has been set up which automatically gives information so all your foreign assets the fatka which is in place all get reported under the master file of the ssc so huge changes happening on this front so i hope with this i have been able to give you a 360 degree view of what the project insight is jena lidhya ayu the mous and the exchanges that have happened between the government and now we will just look at the nuts and bolts of how the entire process of assessment will happen the key topic for today faceless assessment kai rite thase and i will make step wise image mukeli che for all of us to easily understand the first step in this process is the process of issue of notice so no longer is the manual scrutiny option available it is gone removed the only selection will happen online computer based and that to randomized so we are using ai it is going to select and the nac will issue the notice not your jurisdictional ao not anybody else direct nac issues the notice to the taxpayer the taxpayer is given the period of 15 days to respond after this in the nac nast there is a randomized allocation which is based on artificial intelligence looks at which are the centers across india which are available how many are already assigned to them how many more can they do what is the capacity of each of these units and based on that it gets assigned to what is the au so nac ek central national e assessment center se delhi ma a au which can be in any part of the country in a random basis per ai through case allot allot kar sakte a au nu kaam su che obtain further information etle jo apne koi additional vigat to joiti hoy to directly taxpayer pase nahi jaye the au will seek it from nac nac in turn taxpayer pase thi mangi ane pachu assessment unit ma aapse besides that there is the verification unit je verification nu kaam karse summons karvana ase physical verification biji koi vastu nu karvano ase that will be done by the vu ane jo koi aspect technical hase for example transfer pricing no issue che domestic or international for example there is an issue relating to atib the claim real estate what applies there is a power generation company तो एम पावर कई रीते स्टीम कई रीते रेशियो शू हो दीज आर ऑल हाईली टेक्निकल मैटर्स दिस स्कीम एनविजेक्निकल यूनिट्स सो नॉट जस्ट आई आर एस पे आई आर एस साइंस बेकग्राउंड में होने आक्सपर्टीज हो हाउ अ पावर प्लांट वर्क हाउ फॉर एक्जाम्पल द टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ इंडस्ट्री ऑफ आई टी वर्क और हाउ टेलिकॉम वर्क एना स्पेशलाइज टेक्निकल यूनिट्स वेर दिस गेट्स रिफर टू सो दे रिफर इट to the technical unit how a mbbs would probably refer to a specialist similarly the ao if he feels that there is certain technicality involved it goes to the technical unit the technical unit then asks for all of this information and brings it back to the assessment unit 
assessment unit has to issue the draft assessment order which goes again via the nec gets reviewed and then submitted to taxpayer he can then exercise his opportunity of being heard and once he has given his reply the review unit looks at the assessment order and the final order is served on the taxpayer this is the entire mechanism of faceless assessment scheme which has been launched by the honorable prime minister as we recollect on 13th of august of this year and 143a is the enabling provision which ensured that this could have been done so this is the entire faceless assessment scheme we have new concepts of nac au which is the assessment unit vu which is the verification unit and a tu as the technical unit some common question that can arise is transfer pricing na case ma what will happen whether the case which is lying with the assessment unit there is a technical unit which deals specifically with international taxation and transfer pricing so do they refer it to that unit or does it go to the tpo so the answer to that as i understand is that it will always be referred by the au to the technical unit technical unit passe jare a information aave international taxation the matter is then they either by themselves can solve it but if they feel that no this requires certain amount of expertise and review at an additional layer then the technical unit will then assign it to the tpo and then the tpo will submit their draft to the technical unit which will consolidate submit it to the assessment unit and then the ao there has to take a decision whether he wants to make an addition on the basis of any information that has been received by the tpo this is the largest scheme of things i wanted to give the example of tpo and tpo kemke gana loko ne question hoye che manma ke agal jene su thase tpo tpo ni post and international taxation as we all know is still there and they will still be functioning under this scheme so what is this movement that we are seeing from e assessment to face this assessment well all assessment orders starting 13th of august are mandatorily to be done by the faceless assessment scheme but that order where they were they have all now moved to the scheme the international charges and the central charge at like je apna amdavad ma hoy ke surat ma hoy je international charge hato je logo officers pass hai and je central circle hato they remain in a siway all of this will move towards this faceless assessment as i told you in the beginning two third of the employees are now going to be assigned on a faceless basis and only one third will have all the remaining charges of international central and the residual charge the very important change is best judgment assessment 144 na under ke reassessment under 147 is now with the faceless so earlier in the e assessment this was not with in in this way but now in faceless this is also covered and this entire thing has moved towards faceless ele badda best judgment assessment tumhe na respond karyo ane eu ne order karvo che he will not have to go to the jurisdictional eo the uh, audit unit the review unit their self will prepare the order it will come to you and the best judgment order will be made in the case of 147 also the same procedure it is to be done through nec and in the faceless mode the prior approval of board will be required for transfer of cases to jurisdictional eo so the process has been made such that the power is given only to the board so only in exceptional circumstances will the cases be transferred to jurisdictional eo mari pase dastavej ni copy gujarati ma che ane maru assessment thai che guwahati thi ane emne kadach gujarati nathi samajh padti tu request karu ke sahib ane ahiya transfer kari apo pachu navsari ma ke surat ma kem ke mare kyan officer ne hu sari rite samjhai sakis to etlu sahelu nathi it will require prior approval of the board and only in such cases where the board is satisfied ke ha agar tum only reason is ke documents are not in english etlo jawab aavche ke translate kari official translator pasi pamokli aapo amne and that will suffice their purpose that cannot be a reason for it getting transferred to the jurisdictional eo so prior approval of board where they see merit only in those cases will it be transferred to the jurisdictional eo and for personal hearings that is virtually which will happen the prior approval of chief commissioner or dg is required the residuary functions che of recovery of tax rectifications karwa cit ke itit ni appeal effect appi all of that will continue with the jurisdiction layo everything else moves towards the faceless assessment scheme so what are the potential benefits them 
and now we move forward to in this part what it relates for you and me as tax practitioners benefits so che challenges so au se and what is it that we can do to adopt and improve to make sure that even in this faceless era our practice thrives and we are able to serve our clients in the right aspect so in my view the biggest potential benefits will be that the reckless adjustments je karta tha maybe because of targets maybe because of certain personal bias ke apnu modu na gamyu etle addition kar na kya ke client par emne man ma comfort na aayo ke na yaar ana ma nahi thatu so that personal bias gets eliminated because of which the reckless adjustments will reduce possibility and again this is two sides of the coin but the advantage one way is that penalty proceedings may reduce because litigations the government at least express will reduce i have my doubts on it which we will also discuss but yes this is one of the potential benefits personal bias we have discussed pressure of our tax demand will not be there je tax terrorism ke uh, high pitch assessment ja apne kehta tha a high pitch assessment is definitely expected and you discuss with any tax expert they will tell you that that will go down because of the sheer reduction in pressure of tax demand that will come down there will be a huge saving on time shuruaat na baat thi sahib e kidu ke ame nikalta savare apne department jaiye amdavad ma to char building ma farvu pade bapore pachi paacha jao sanje niklo akha divas ma kadach sahib male ni to akho divas apno waste hai well now the biggest advantage i see for us as professional is our bandwidth has increased we can do more work and more importantly do it more effectively because now we have to decide je 15 divas no gaalo che samay ma tumhe nakki karo ke mangalware aa wala replies budhvare aa wala reply atyar sudhi apne a time aape ne jata tha ave apna hath ma che ke jawab kyare aapvo so we are going to decide which day to reply and therefore our skills as professionals of scheduling of managing the time right બધી કેસો ભેગા થઈ જાય અને છેલ્લે જોડે ડિસેમ્બર માં ભાગવું પડે આપણે એના કરતા નાઉ વી કેન સ્પ્રેડ આવર વર્ક ઓવર ધ પીરિયડ ઓફ ટાઈમ ધેટ ઇઝ આઈ બિલીવ વન ઓફ ધ લાર્જેસ્ટ બેનિફિટ્સ ફોર અસ અપેલેટ પ્રોસીડિંગ્સ પર ડેફિનેટલી આનો ઇમ્પેક્ટ આવશે અને આખી પ્રોસેસ ટેકનોલોજી ડ્રિવન છે એટલે ઓડિટ ટ્રેલ રહેવાની જે પણ વસ્તુ આપણે સબમિટ કરી પહેલા કદાચ એવું બનતું કે આપણે પાછી બી લઈ શકતા કે બદલી બી શકતા ઓર આપણે કોઈ ડિપાર્ટમેન્ટમાં સબમિશન કરવા જઈએ અને આપણને કે ના જોઈ લઈશું લઈએ છે નાઉ દેર ઇઝ નો ઓપ્શન ફોર ધેમ ટુ રિફ્યુઝ ઓર ઇવન ટુ રિટર્ન ધી એન્ટાયર ડોક્યુમેન્ટેશન ઇઝ હેવિંગ અ ઓડિટ ટ્રેલ ટેકનોલોજી ફૂટપ્રિન્ટ જેને અમે ડિજિટલ ફૂટપ્રિન્ટ કહીએ છીએ એ ડિજિટલ ફૂટપ્રિન્ટ આ લીધે જે પણ કામ થયું હશે એનું એક બેક એન્ડ પર ઓડિટ ટ્રેલ રહેશે વેરી ઇઝીલી વેરીફાયબલ એન્ડ દેર ફોર ધેટ વિલ ચેન્જ વોટ આર ધ ચેલેન્જીસ દેટ આઈ ફોર સી દેન બીકોઝ ઓફ ધી face this assessment coming forward the first and foremost and the biggest is going to be industry based adjustments may increase surat ma ho of course textile and diamond may be the largest and then probably real estate ke south gujarat ma larger industries hase pan ave a badha na specialized units thase and therefore people who are only looking at textile ane khali surat nu nahi ke khali south gujarat nu nahi pan akha india ni badhi textile industry nu jare data emni pase hoy એમને ખબર છે કે વોટ ઇઝ ધ કોસ્ટ ઓફ પર્ચેસ ઓફ સર્ટન આઇટમ્સ ફોર દેમ ટુ દેન ડુ અ ડિટેલ અસેસમેન્ટ ઇઝ ગોઈંગ ટુ બી પોસિબલ એન્ડ બીકોઝ ઓફ દેટ આઈ પર્સનલી ફીલ કે ઇન્ડસ્ટ્રી બેઝ એડજસ્ટમેન્ટ ડેફિનેટલી વર્થ છે પર્સનલ ઇન્ટરેક્શન નહીં થવાથી અને લાર્જેસ્ટ પોઈન્ટ જે આપણા બધાના મનમાં છે સાહેબ ફેસલેસ કરવાથી કે કોઈ પણ વસ્તુ ડોક્યુમેન્ટમાં લખવાથી જો સમજાતી હોત તો આજે અનિકે તલાટી આ સેશન લેવા ઇમેલ આપણે કહેવા કઈક માંગતો હોઈએ અને સામે વાળો વ્યક્તિ સમજી છે કે બીજું ઘરે ઘણી વાર ઝઘડા બી વોટ્સએપ માં રિપ્લાય આપણે કર્યા હોય એના લીધે થતા હોય છે કેમ કે તમે વાઇફ ને કીધું કહ્યું હોય ને એમાં દર્શાય કઈ બીજી રીતે સો ધોઝ આર ઓલ લેક્સ ઓફ પર્સનલ ઇન્ટરેક્શન ટેકનોલોજીની આ સૌથી મોટી લિમિટેશન છે અને એના લીધે ડેફિનેટલી એડજસ્ટમેન્ટ આઈ પરસીવ વિલ બી દેર સબમિશન જે આપણે અત્યાર સુધી કરતા હતા કદાચ સિમ્પ્લીફાઈડ ફોર્મ માં કરતા હતા now they will have to be much more technical and comprehensive ke koi pan manas samjhi sake 
સીએની પરીક્ષા આપતો હોઈએ તો આપણને ખબર નથી પેપર ક્યાં તપાસવાનું છે કે લો ની એક્ઝામ આપતો હોઈએ તો આપણને ખબર નથી કોણ તપાસવાનું છે પણ લખી એ રીતે કે કોઈ પણ તપાસ સમજી શકે હું શું કહેવા માંગુ છું સિમિલરલી યોર અસેસમેન્ટ નાવ વિલ હેવ યોર સબમિશન નાવ ફોર અસેસમેન્ટ વિલ હેવ ટુ બી ઇન અ મેનર દેટ ઇઝ ઇઝી ફોર અધર્સ ટુ અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડ ટેકનિકલ અને કોમ્પ્રિહેન્સિવ હોય બટ એટ ધ સેમ ટાઈમ એન્ડ આઈ હેવ અ સ્લાઈડ ટુ ડિસ્કસ ધીસ યુ મસ્ટ નાવ સ્ટાર્ટ ધી કોન્સેપ્ટ ઓફ એક્ઝિક્યુટિવ સમરી જે લોકો ઓડિટમાં છે એમને ખબર હશે કે ઇન્ટર્ન ઓડિટ નો રિપોર્ટ લોટ ઓફ ટાઈમ રન્સ ઇન ટુ વોલ્યુમનેસ નંબર ઓફ પેજીસ બટ દેર ઇઝ ઓલવેઝ એન એક્ઝિક્યુટિવ સમરી એટ ધ ટોપ which summarizes all of that in two or three pages apne school ma bhanya tha pressy writing lamba nu nanu kari ane tuk ma lake te lakhvano that will have to also be understood learned and the art of having an executive summary for all your submissions which we will discuss also will have to be learned by all of us there will be constraints as i understand 50 mb is restriction che and for some large tax payers je logo mtu ma ke large tax payer unit ma atya sudhi assessment karavta tha e logo mate the number of attachments the sizes this is all going to be a technology constraint and more importantly atlo data lakho assessi no data tame server par store karso ketla varsh mate itb ma apanne khabar chhe em 3 j varsh mate data data male chhe aa data ketla varsh sudhi e loko e save karvo padse and the amount of hardware it is going to consume for this data is a huge challenge which the department also i believe may probably not have estimated correctly penalty proceedings there is still certain clarity required and the demand the proceedings i foresee because of this face test assessment definitely will increase so we have understood about the the whole mechanics of how face test assessment will function the neac au vu review unit how it comes back to the assessing officer uh, to the uh, assessee i'm sorry certain questions which came to my mind leading the literature and also attending some of the seminars discussing with certain officers i have tried to put these questions here and i will also try and jointly answer these questions kali open ended sawal nahi mukhi ne do answers par aap is the first and foremost is tp ni audit kon karse whether tpo karse an assessment ke tu in any nec karse here i have already discussed this when we were looking at the technical unit understanding that my understanding based on the various discussion is that au je tp na matters che a definitely tu ne refer karse that is the technical unit ma so assessment unit thi technical unit pa jotu rahe technical unit jo lage ke ama itli complications nahi it is not as complex for it to be referred to a tpo then they will do it by themselves if they feel that a tpo reference is required then it will be go- going to the tpo this also will have to be routed through nec no physical interaction and the tpo will have to give it through nec back to tpu the the tu and the draft will come by the ao which will then come to the assessee when it comes back to the assessee what is the option well you can either prefer an appeal against cit appeal or you can go to for drp હવે ડીઆરપી નું મેકેનિઝમ કઈ રીતે હશે વેધર ડીઆરપી ઇઝ ગોઈંગ ટુ બી ફેસલેસ આઈ હેડ નોટ સીન એની ક્લેરિફિકેશન કમિંગ ફોરવર્ડ આઈ વુડ અઝ્યુમ દેટ યસ ઇવન ધ ડીઆરપી મેકેનિઝમ વિલ મૂવ ટુ અ વર્ચ્યુઅલ ફોર્મ ઓફ યરિંગ સિમિલર ટુ હાઉ સીઆઈટી અપીલ ઇઝ ગોઈંગ ટુ ફંક્શન ધ સેકન્ડ વેરી કોમન ક્વેશ્ચન ઇઝ ડાયનામિક જુરિસ્ટિક્શન આવાથી જ્યુડિશિયલ પ્રેસિડન્સ ક્યાંનું લાગશે સિમ્પલ દાખલો આપો આપણે બધા ગુજરાતમાં છે અને જીએસઆરટીસી હાઈકોર્ટ ઓર્ડર ઇઝ વેલ અવેર to all of us in terms of the employee deduction so there is a high court order of gujarat which is not in the favor of assc but multiple other high courts have given orders which are favorable to the assc the client is based out of surat but assessment is being done in bhubaneswar in your view and again it's a question uh, if you can answer it in the chat box so interactive thase manne pan gamse in your view જુરિસ્ટિક્શન કયું લાગશે ભુવનેશ્વરનું ગુજરાતનું વોટ જુડિશિયલ પ્રેસિડન્સ શુડ અપ્લાય ઇફ યુ કેન યુઝ અ ચેટ બોક્સ આઈ આઈ ડોન્ટ નો ઇફ ઇટ ઇઝ એનેબલ ફોર ઓલ ઓફ યુ કદાચ નહીં હોય ક્યુ એન્ડ એ જ એનેબલ છે વેબિનાર બોર્ડ છે બટ લેટ મી ક્યુ એન્ડ એ ઇઝ એનેબલ ધ ક્યુ એન્ડ એ ઇઝ એનેબલ રાઈટ યસ સર યા સો યા સો 
Kamlesh Bhai and others have mentioned that it is of the assessee. You are absolutely correct. The jurisdiction is always be qua assessee based on the pan. So pan Gujarat nu chhe, assessee Gujarat nu chhe. First and foremost, kya thase assessment apan ne khabar jnathi ki MK bani chhe ke Bhuvneshwar chhe, apan tamne nahi khabar pade Bhuvneshwar chhe ke Kolkata chhe ke Delhi chhe. So there is no way you know what is the jurisdiction of the officer who is drafting the order. Second, which I believe is also very important, is that the concept of jurisdiction, though it is removed for faceless purposes, here uh, it is only going to be the assessee's jurisdiction, the pan where he is, his high court's judicial precedence will apply to this case. So, where the conflicting high court judgment is, where the department has SLP filed for it, in my view, yes, always the precedence or the jurisdiction precedence will be of the where the SSE resides. The next can be whether DRP route will be available. I think I have already explained to you when we discussed about transfer pricing. Okay, order I have achieved. Can DRP or CIT appeal pass? Whether draft assessment order would be served upon all SSEs in all cases. The answer that I am given to understand based on my discussion is that yes, it is going to be available. For all orders, a draft assessment order following the process of natural justice will have to be made. The show cause notice to change. Jode draft assessment order will have to be submitted to the SSC before making any additions. So that is a common question that comes across. Post team based audit. Kyawe assessing officer Nathi Rayo Pan AU ma ek audit team ke team audit karwani. What are the circumstances under which 263 orders can be invoked. Let 263 and under which approach will it be done. Whether it will be done by the AU or it will be done by the jurisdiction officer. Well, here uh, the answer is going to be that in my personal view that is going to reduce the number of 263 at the first place merely because of the large amount of data you have already submitted and data which is available to the AU. Now with this information exchange, with all this data which is already available to the assessing officer, he already has access to all of this information. And therefore, 263 cases in my view will reduce drastically uh, because the digital footprint, as we call it, which will be left in all your submissions and also the data which he had available to him at the time of making the assessment, both put together will reduce the opportunity for him to invoke 263. Well, the option to transfer the jurisdictional assessing officer, passage case che, it is only with revenue. I as the consultant, advocate or chartered accountant, or maybe as a taxpayer also, do not have the option to transfer as of now the cases to my jurisdiction. Leo. Only revenue can prefer it and go to board. And if the board approves, such cases will get transferred. So here again, the department has the benefit of Referring such cases back to the jurisdiction layout, which we as assessees do not have. And finally, the question that gets asked is who will be doing the reassessment proceedings where notices are already issued? So, well, here it's, it's very clear notice to already issue thai gaiche. Ane reassessment matani 148 ma. Then NESC will not do a fresh restart. That is very clear. They will restart from where the previous jurisdiction AO had left it. And for all the new reassessment orders that have to be done, those will have to be done by NEAC. The only question in my view again will be recording reasons and the recording of reasons will have to be done by the jurisdictional AO under section 148. And once he records the reasons, he will have to make, of course, make it available to the SSC. You may file your counter against that and then the process will go on. But this is my understanding, common questions that get asked to me at this phase relating to this e-assessment and faceless assessment which I wanted to cover. So what is the large difference between present and faceless assessment? Ma? Well, the manual system and a uh, system based selection away discretion totally removed only and only based on system red alerts selection will happen. Cases were always based on territorial jurisdiction but as we saw in the diagram away automated and a random allocation cases. Tase. Human intervention and randomly different AUs cases. There are 95 assessment units across the country. Patri's verification unit and VIS Vijay RUs and a chart technical units. So total huge amount of 
infrastructure that they have already built up. And the notice is now, as we are aware, will be issued through NEAC using the DIN number. So now I move forward with the last but very important aspect of practical aspects of faceless assessment. What has to be the right approach for you and me as advocates or chartered accountants for faceless assessment? What are the key takeaways? Where is it that I need to focus on? And what I believe are important aspects which I have covered in the next three or four slides for us to approach this faceless assessment, the first and foremost is proactive preparedness and be extra cautious. Always keep an eye on what is happening. If there is any system generated reply given to you, what is happening at the ITBA portal, you will have to make sure that all your communications get tracked. We cannot be in a situation that we are not prepared technologically and otherwise to face this. Pehla, our offices, people have said that we are happy that we have 5,000 square foot new office, we have 2,000 square foot new office, we have 1,500 square foot new office. So, we have to have a lot of office size because the assessment is faceless. The client has also been able to get the size of the office. So, the size of the office is important, but our technology and how we are adopting our system 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 and how we are adopting our technical know-how and how we are updating our system. टीम कई रीते बिल्ड करे आटला काम ने एक सामटू जय से सीस्टम थी ऑनलाइन सारी रीते भजवी सकते काम कर सकते देट इज गोइंग टू बी दी वी विल हेव टू स्पेन्ड नॉट ऑन मेकिंग श्योर देट द वॉल पेपर ऑफ अवर ऑफिस पेन्ट कस उखड़ी गये जेना पर खर्चो करिए अगत्य अपना स्टाफ ने बी कॉम हो पेड एसिस्टंट हो आर्टिकल हो चार्टर्ड एकाउंटंट होने टेक्निकली ऑन लॉ As well as on practice of law through technology, कई रीते train करिए जाए। इना पर खर्चो करवो जरूरी जाए। That I believe is going to be the differentiating factor of which firms will succeed in this faceless journey and which firms will not be able to. जे अत्यार सुधी आपली धारणा हती के बाहर थी सारू लागू जुए। Now we will have to focus inwards. मारू server, मारू internet, मारा computer मा processing speed, मारा staff नी knowledge आ IT based assessment karva mate. That is going to be the key and the crux. You will also have to very, very be clear that your submissions, je atyar sudhi apne, ane ghana gamo ma apne te bati, ke submission apni diye, pahi tyaat ji ne sahib ne apni apni bhasha ma, jikli Hindi aavar diyo, yoh Hindi ma kato, Gujarati samajh kato, bohut saru Gujarati ma ji ne samjhai hai diye. Awe, ek kya bethe hoche? Tamilian in Madras, Malayali is sitting there, and we don't have to understand the opportunity to understand the opportunity. Your Gujarati is saying, what do you say in the first time? And what you say in your submissions is going to be extremely critical and important in terms of how the fate of your assessment moves forward. And therefore, what I have suggested here also is that along with the submissions, do a lot of technical, comprehensive submissions, but do a lot of executive summary, so that in one bird's eye view, what you are trying to say in a concise, comprehensive manner gets uh, very clearly communicated to the person who is going to do our assessment. Because no face nothing, a faceless chain. Interdepartmental data exchange, jo department passe information chhe, to unko ano GST return bharu chhu. Nathi bhar to to mane available to thei sakhe chhe. Agar ek company chhe to company no MC no data. XBRL market is available in XBRL market. So, the income tax department has a 360 degree review of tax payer. We also have to do a 360 degree review of our client. Foreign travel has not been done. We will have to ensure because that will now have to be verified. Ask those questions to our clients and make sure that we have sufficient explanation available. We have to do an assessment. We have to do an assessment. We should have all of that information available at the time of filing itself. In our office, we have only acknowledgement saved that the computation file saved that we have saved in the soft copy. We have saved in the soft copy and we have made it in the soft copy. So, we have all the questions and the explanations that we have to do in the soft copy. Physical file, I have asked for honesty, that this is a very good question. I was in Mumbai when I did my articleship and there we did an online based audit. I was very awkward when I got to know how many files were. 
અને અગેન વોટ માય અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડિંગ ઇઝ આપણે લોકોએ ફાઇલ કેમ બનાવી કેમ કે આપણે ત્યાં કોઈ ક્લાયન્ટ ની ફાઇલ હોય તો આપણે હંમેશા કહીએ કે તારી ફાઇલ મારી પાસે છે અને એને બી જો કશે બીજે જવું હોય તો ઇટ ઇઝ અ વેરી ઓકવર્ડ થિંગ ફોર હિમ ટુ કમેન્ટ છે સાહેબ મને ફાઇલ પાછી આપો એટલે ફિઝિકલ ફાઇલ નું ઇમ્પોર્ટન્સ છે પણ નાવ ફિઝિકલ ફાઇલ હોય કે ના હોય એની ડિજિટલ ડેટા એનું ડિજિટલ ફાઇલ આપણી ઓફિસમાં હોવી જરૂરી છે અને એ ઇન્ફોર્મેશન જો તમારી પાસે હશે તો આગળ ઇન ધી એન્ટાયર પ્રોસેસ ઓફ અસેસમેન્ટ ઇટ ઇઝ ગોઈંગ ટુ બી એક્સટ્રીમલી ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ યોર સબમિશન્સ વિલ હેવ ટુ બી લાઈક આઈ સેટ કોમ્પ્રિહેન્સિવ એન્ડ ડિટેલ ટાઈમલી બીકોઝ નાઉ ધ પેનલ્ટી વિલ બી ઇનિશિયેટેડ બાય ધી એયુ એન્ડ દેર ફોર ઇફ ઇટ ઇઝ નોટ ડન ઓન ટાઈમ ઇટ ઇઝ લાઈંગ વિથ એની ઓફ ધીઝ યુનિટ્સ they will initiate penalty and an immediate penalty system 3 nac to generate thay jase and there that will increase our burden so timely response will have to be important and most importantly je submission che ena par technical bhar vadhare apie generic general vartao na karta to the point technical submission apo e jaruri che ane aa karva mate what i can suggest today two or three very important steps that i feel we must take and first and foremost is regarding bandwidth what is bandwidth sahab apna badhe atyare internet thi connected hai pan gani var aa program program announce karta hoye ke ma attend karta hoye and to video band kar diye kem are yaar data jato rahe che clear nahi aato hu ahiya baitho chu mari office ma mane tame badha clearly jo video on karso to at least clarity thi joi sakso ane hu tamne joi sakis why ane hu mari office mate keva mate tamne nahi kehto i wish and pray ke darek પ્રોફેશનલ એડવોકેટ હોય ચાર્ટર્ડ એકાઉન્ટન્ટ હોય કે ટેક્સ પ્રેક્ટિશિયર જે પણ પ્રકારનો એની ઓફિસમાં આ બેઝિક ઇન્ફ્રાસ્ટ્રક્ચર તો બેન્ડવિથનું આપણે રાખવું જ પડશે સાહેબ ડોક્ટર પાસે જાઓ અને કે મારી પાસે સ્ટેટસ્કોપ બહુ જૂનો છે કે ખરાબ છે કે લેટેસ્ટ નથી એ ના ચાલે બ્લડ ટેસ્ટ કરાવો અને કે સાહેબ અમે નવા પ્રકારના બ્લડ ટેસ્ટ નથી કરતા એ પ્રોફેશનમાં ના ચાલે એમ જ આપણા પ્રોફેશનમાં આપણે ઇન્ટરનેટ યુટ્યુબના વિડીયો કે નેટફ્લિક્સ જોવા માટે નથી લીધું our internet is for ensuring that we are able to easily communicate file the returns and a return filing ma upload speed vadhare agatya ni che download speed karta aaj me image tamari samne muki je ghana loko speed test ukla ke bija website par potani speed test karta ho ane apne su kariye download speed joine khush thai ja 5 mbps 10 mbps 20 mbps sahab download speed to video jova mate ke netflix mate joiye in our offices what is important is the upload speed je me jode muki je the latency ane ek kyare male jare least line ke sara manu internet connection de delu hoy 500 ne 700 rupya internet connection thi sahab agal face the assessment no kaam nahi thai apne sara internet providers pase thi dedicated bandwidth internet connection levi pade 30 september hoy ke extended deadline hoy amdad ma ghana loko boom padto hoy ke return upload nat thata i can tell you i do not face that problem and that is majorly because our upload speed in the office is higher than the download maro staff be video ocha jo se ma mane koi nuksan nahi pan jo return time sir upload nahi tha ne to there is lot of consequences for the client and therefore when you next time look at your speed test in your office meherbani karine download jode upload speed pan jojo ane jo apna office ma na hoy my request to you after this conference is call your ISP internet service provider and ensure ke ek sari internet jema both download ne upload uh, ni speed sari hoy evo internet laiye and to improve our own skills i know so many people jemne emno akhu schooling gujarati medium ma karyu chhe pan aaje finest english bole chhe and i can also mention my father for an example aap badha emne olkho cho ghana lecture lai chukya chhe akhi schooling gujarati medium ma karyu પણ આજે કદાચ મારથી ઘણું સારું અંગ્રેજી બોલે એવા ઘણા દાખલા છે હાઉ આર ધીઝ પીપલ એબલ ટુ ડુ ઇટ બીકોઝ દે હેવ કન્સિસ્ટન્ટલી યુ નો મેડ શ્યોર દેટ એફર્ટ્સ આર પુટ ઇન ટુ ઇમ્પ્રુવ ધેર કમ્યુનિકેશન અને આજે જ્યારે ટેકનોલોજીના જમાનામાં છે ત્યારે સો મેની ટૂલ્સ આર અવેલેબલ સમ ઓફ ધેમ દેટ આઈ હેવ મેન્શન ઇન ફ્રન્ટ ઓફ યુ યુડેમી કોર્સેરા ઇન્સ્ટિટ્યુટ એમ એક ડિજિટલ લર્નિંગ હબ છે જ્યાં તમને સાવ સસ્તા ભાવમાં કમ્યુનિકેશન સ્કિલ્સ રાઇટિંગ સ્કિલ્સ how do you make prezi how do you shorten certain aspects can be taught i think what is missing is not online resources what generally is missing is to have the right attitude a umar de koi pan umar hai sahab sikhwani koi umar nahi hoti you can learn any day of your life and if we have the right approach and the right attitude i have only given you some examples and options 
where you can go online and learn these skills. So this is regarding what has to be done at our end as the practical approach, the key takeaways for us regarding the faceless assessment. The virtual hearing, we are all aware, they are now going forward towards it. September nuts and bolts will be known to us how this will happen. But I can only share with you that yes, all ITD benches are equipped with VC, High Court, Supreme Court, and a matter of great pride for us. India na Supreme Court has 700 judgment virtual hearings. The US Jeva Deshma Kali V Sodal Thaja Sahib, you came up Pandar and Australia Mabana. This is the difference our country has been able to obtain because of adopting and embracing technology and the reach of technology to the last man. The process will include SOPs which will be issued by CIT appeal, Kayrite Besu, Kathy Besu, mobile Neva Parvo. Only use your laptop or desktop. These are important aspects of the SOPs that cover. You must have sufficient infrastructure, make Hinduem strong connectivity, bandwidth, both upload and download speed and etiquette. We all know Rajasthan High Court, ma, what has happened, why the judge had to then come heavily upon the advocate there. That should not happen with any of my fellow professionals and therefore this is going to be extremely crucial that we maintain our etiquettes. The faceless appeals are going to be launched on 25th of September, which is incidentally the birth anniversary of Deen Dayal Upadhyay. And this will move and bring in usher in a totally new generation of appeals also for all of us. Uh, finally, I have also included in this presentation the taxpayer's charter, 119 AMA, Sarkare through statutory promise, not just the good intent, which was always there on the website. I have Juno charter on the website. But through act commitment, we will respect the privacy. We information have online maps, so any data security of a Sarkani job. Information directly I believe with this commitment that the government has made, privacy will be very important. They will make timely decisions. And the basic assumption and premise is that the taxpayer is honest. That is where they are starting with. It will enable a representative of choice, provide a fair and just system. And the main target is to reduce the cost of compliance. There are certain expectations that have also been made from taxpayers, which is to make sure that there is timely payment of tax, timely submissions of information. Kali karisu, apisu, that attitude cannot go forward. contract expect honestly records maintain karisu and disclose karisu. And finally, the new SFT, which is going to come in place, which has been notified in terms of what are the new tax transactions. Along with the 26 AS, the existing SFT details such as cash deposits exceeding 10 lakhs, immovable property exceeding 30 lakhs, these were all now visible to us while we are filing the return and will be extremely important. If we return of income, we file the return of income. So, assess and engage. Now, you have all the information that is in the SFT. You have to do an interaction, a document, that you have to do the depict theory. If there is any aberration, if there is any aberration, we have to keep the documentation in our own. And the explanation is, the explanation is document, and the source is full. If you have a payment, from what source have you made this payment? That is going to be the crux which we will have to document. If you have a payment in the hotel, what did you have a payment? If you have a cash, then it's a question mark. Sufficient withdrawals? Fair enough. Nothing? Big question mark. Insurance premium. All of this, we will have to ensure that the bank statement is thoroughly analyzed, scanned, documented, and these SFT details, the explanation must be with us. I think if that is there, if we have all of this available with us, then I am sure that this new era, which has been assured of faceless assessment and faceless appeals, will bring in golden days for all of us as professionals. There are challenges. I accept them. I said them at the beginning. But challenges, opportunities, Technologically, learning wise, in terms of how our approach to this assessment for all these years has been. Atla Varasti Amas Tatu Ayuchetla Amas Tasem Nati was to Badlai Riche. 
દેશ બદલાઈ રહ્યો છે અને આપણે પણ એની જોડે બદલાવવું પડશે વિથ ધીઝ વર્ડ્સ આઈ વોન્સ અગેન થેન્ક ઓલ ધી ઇન્સ્ટિટ્યુટ એન્ડ ધી એસોસિએશન ફોર ઇન્વાઇટિંગ મી આઈ હોપ આઈ વોઝ ગેબલ ટુ ગીવ યુ એઝ વોઝ ડિમાન્ડેડ અ પ્રેક્ટિકલ અપ્રોચ ટુ ધીસ ફેસલેસ અસેસમેન્ટ ઇન અપીલ્સ નોટ જસ્ટ ધ નટ્સ એન્ડ બોલ્ડ ઇન ધ ટેકનિકલ એસ્પેક્ટ બટ હાઉ પ્રેક્ટિકલી એક ચાર્ટર્ડ એકાઉન્ટન્ટ કે એડવોકેટ તરીકે મારે આ ફેસલેસ ને અપ્રોચ કરવાનું છે એના બારે આઈ હોપ આઈ બીન એબલ ટુ ડુ જસ્ટિસ આઈ વન્સ અગેન થેન્ક ઓલ ઓફ યુ ફોર અ વેરી પેશન્ટ હિયરિંગ and i apologize i have overshot by maybe 8 or 10 minutes so thank you very much thank you very much sir aniket bhai uh, i must uh, i must tell you that uh, today's your lecture uh, has created a lot of impact on tax professionals mind we all tax professionals must understand from your lecture that now uh, we we need to be attentive we need to be uh, accurate and we need to be passionate about uh, about our practice our profession and Uh, we should not do it uh, through idleness or looseness but um, by bringing interest in our practice uh, we can definitely serve uh, a lot better so thank you very much sir for your valuable time now uh, i welcome shri dhiresh bhai tisa most respected shri dhiresh bhai president emeritus of income tax bar association and i request sir to please do the concluding ceremony of this webinar dhiresh bhai sir सर अनम्यूट करो ना सर हाँ जी यस सर सर अनम्यूट करो ऊपर से अनम्यूट करो ऊपर से सर परफेक्ट परफेक्ट सर थैंक यू हेलो यस सर प्लीज अनिकेत भाई ने खूब खूब अभिनंदन आटल सुंदर प्रवचन आटल सुंदर समझ आटला बढ़ा वेबिनार थे जो कोई अतिशक्ति वगैरह कहू तो ये अनिकेत भाई ना कहवा नवा सब्जेक्ट में अपन घो डर तो खूब समझवा मिलू खूब जानकारी आप विगत अपन ने सारी रीते समझाई सरल भाषा गुजराती में एटू सरस इंग्लिश में एटू सरस बोलिया फरी फरी सा मन थे एवं आज व्यक्तव्यू आटला अभिनंदन आप ओछा है मैं इमने पहली बार साम कह लव एट फर्स्ट साइड एम मैंने आज बहुज एम गमी गयु रीत प्रवचन अपने अवरनवा बीजा सब्जेक्ट पर गोठव जो है उपरांत आज सब्जेक्ट पर महीना बे महीना पी फरी जय रियली फेसलेस एसेसमेंट चालू थाय नोटिस तेरे मार्गदर्शन लीए तो सारू यूट्यूब पर जो आ लेक्चर मुक तो जो हाजर नहीं रहे घना मित्रों ने खूब बधु जाने एटू सरस रीते समझा कि आप शिरा मह गरा में उतरी गयू क्या करवा नहीं करवा के काल्पनिक भय आप दूर कर आप शू तैयारी करने समझा सरस प्रवचन करने बदल अनिकेत भाई ने अपने अभिनंदन कदा सुनील भी मैंने पूछे मार मित्र से मार दीकरा केव मैं कहू पड़े कि तरह करता तो घो सार बोलिया एट्ले बहुत मजा आई बहुत जाइपीच एसेसमेंट जो आप बहुत ओछा थी जैसे ये बात भी एमने करी बेनविथ अपलॉड अपने अत्यार डाउनलॉड न बढ़ू ख्याल रखो अपलॉड ना ख्याल रखो नहीं ये एम साची बात है आप बहुत करकसर कर पैसा इंटरनेट मैं खरीद ए बधु हम सुधर पड़ से फरी हूँ आ एसोसिएशन बदा प्रमुखों ने अभिनंदन आपू छू एम सरस वार्तालाप सरस सब्जेक्ट पर राखो खूब लोग लाभ लीधो थैंक यू वेरी मच एवरी वन थैंक यू वेरी मच रिस्पेक्टेड सर वी आर रनिंग आउट ऑफ टाइम सो वी आर नॉट एटेंडिंग क्वेश्चन थैंक यू सो मच वंस अगेन अनिकेत भाई एंड ऑल दी प्रेसिडेंट एंड सेक्रेटरीज एंड ऑल दी मेम्बर्स ऑफ सेवन एसोसिएशन एंड ऑल दी पार्टिशिप्स 
uh, aniket bhai uh, around 300 pa participants have attended this webinar so it's a big uh, huge success thank, Th thank you so thank much thank you so much thank you sir thank you so much we are uh, we are ending this seminar thank you thank you thank you